Hello my dear friends, how are you all? I hope you all are good and fantastic. So my dear friends, you are very welcome in a lecture number one of polynomials. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about polynomials. Okay, so my dear friends, I hope you will enjoy this lecture. This lecture basically is very important. Okay, my dear friends. So you have to listen very carefully and you have to be very concentrated. Okay, so without wasting the time, let's start. Yes, my dear friends, so today we are going to discuss about the introduction of polynomials. Today we are just uh, uh, discuss about the just in, uh, introduction of polynomials. Okay, my dear friend. So now my dear friend, basically what is polynomials? Basically, what is polynomials? What is the basic definition of polynomials? So my dear friends, if you talk about the polynomials, so my dear friends, polynomials are algebraic expression. What are these? These are simple algebraic expression that consist of variables and coefficient that consists of variables and coefficients variables are also sometimes called as indeterminates sometimes called as indeterminates okay so my dear friends we can perform arithmetic operations such, such as addition subtraction multiplication also positive integers exponents for polynomials expression but not division by variables but not divisions by variables okay Let's suppose for example x square plus x minus 12. This is what this is the example of polynomials. In this, there is a variables, coefficient, exponents. Okay, I hope you get this point. So we can see we can say that in this there are three terms. In this there are three terms. First, second, and third. Okay. So now my dear friends. If we see this diagram, you can understand properly like we have a example of polynomials. So this is the example of polynomials. So my dear friends in this polynomials, we have coefficient. So what are these coefficient? 5 and 2. These are the coefficient. These are what? These are the coefficient of the variable. Like we can say this is the variables x, x and y are the variables x and y are x and y are what variables so we can say that the coefficient of x square is 5 the coefficient of y is 2 okay so these are what these are the coefficient this is the constant term okay and there are the operators they are the operators okay like addition subtraction multiplication okay so these are what these are arithmetic operations okay so basically the combination of variables and constant terms and coefficients are the polynomials are what are the polynomials so my dear friends i hope you understand these things i hope you understand the concept of polynomial what is polynomials so my dear friends it is a, it is not a big deal to uh, to solve the polynomials okay so my dear friend if you understand the concept of polynomial you can solve a lot of problems okay without any problem i hope my dear friends you understand these things so my dear friend basically the word polynomial is derived from the greek word poly greek word poly like my dear friends like my dear friends here the word polynomial is derived from the Greek words which is poly, which is poly. So it means many. It means many. Okay. Yes. And the second term is nominal. Okay. This means terms. This means terms. Okay. So all together it's at many terms polynomial means many terms okay i hope you get this point so polynomial can have any terms any number of terms but not finite but not infinite okay so polynomials have lot of terms polynomials have can have lot of terms but not infinite okay but uh, this is always a finite terms okay i hope you get this point so now my dear friends now let's see about the degree about the types of polynomials what is degree what is type of polynomials okay yeah so first of all my dear friends we are seeing about the notation what is notation so now my dear friends 
the polynomial function is denoted by p of x this is what this is the uh, polynomial functions representation here x is represent the variable this represent what this is represent the variables okay for example p of x means which is equals to x square minus 5x plus 11 okay so p of x is what it is the representation of polynomial function okay if the if the variable is denoted by a then the function will be p of a okay if let's suppose if a is the variable a is the variable then the a, then the a function will be p of a like this okay and uh, it will become a square minus 5a plus 11 okay i hope you get this point so now let's move on yes my dear friends now now we are discussing about degree of a polynomial now what is degree of a polynomial so my dear friends the degree of a polynomial is defined as the highest degree of a nominal within a polynomial within a polynomial okay uh, basically a polynomial equation having one variable the polynomial which is having one variable which has the largest exponent is called the degree of polynomial which has the largest exponent is called the degree of polynomial means let's suppose we have x square plus 4x plus 3 okay so this is what so my dear friend this is a polynomial this is a polynomial so now my dear friends what is degree so if a polynomial equation having a one variable okay so the largest exponent is called the degree of polynomial so what is the largest exponent of this polynomial so this is 2 we have also 1 but the largest exponent is what 2 so we can say that so we can say that the degree of the polynomial is what 2 is what 2 okay my dear friends i hope you get this point okay my dear friends i hope you understand these things okay so the degree is what degree is the highest exponent of the polynomial degree is what highest exponent of the polynomial okay let's suppose for example we have again 6 s raised to power 4 plus 3 x square plus 5 x plus 90 okay now we have to find the degree of this polynomial so my dear friends here is s and x both are the variable both are the variable but the highest exponent is on the variable x s on the variable s so this is what this is for so my dear friends we can say that the degree of this polynomial is 4 the degree of the polynomial is what yes 4 okay i hope my dear friends understand these things so now my dear friends so now my dear friends let's see the degree of different different polynomials degree of different different polynomials so let's suppose we have a constant or zero polynomial means there is no variable okay so in this case my dear friends degree is zero okay and if you talk about the example like six okay or eight or any of the constant number any number is the constant and uh, which is the example of zero polynomials and the degree is what degree of zero okay now second is linear polynomial so my dear friends in linear polynomial let's suppose we are taking an example 3x plus 1 so the, this is a linear polynomial and in linear polynomial the highest degree is what the highest exponent is what 1 so degree is what degree will be 1 okay i hope you get this point so now if you talk about the quadratic polynomial so my dear friends quadratic polynomial are those polynomial which having the exponent is of maximum of 2 okay so in this the degree is what 2 because the highest component is what 2 okay which is x square okay now if you talk about the cubic polynomial in this case the degree will be 3 
in this case the degree will be 3 because the because in the cubic polynomial the highest exponent is 3 let's suppose 6 x cube plus 4 x cube plus 3 x plus 1 3 x plus 1 Okay, I hope you get this point. Now, now let's talk about the quartic polynomial. Now, in this case, degree will be 4. And uh, if you talk about the example, uh, it will be 6x raised to power 4 plus 3x raised to power 3 plus 3x raised to power 2 plus 2x plus 1. So this is what this is the quartic polynomial in this the maximum exponent is 4 the maximum power is what the maximum power is 4 I hope my dear friend you understand these things so in constant polynomial there is the degree is 0 in linear polynomial the degree will always be 1 in quadratic polynomial the degree is 2 in cubic polynomial the degree is 3 in quartic polynomial the degree is 4 Okay, my dear friends, I hope you understand these things, my dear friends. Okay, so now let's move on. Yes. So the next topic is terms of polynomials. Terms of polynomials. So my dear friends, the terms of polynomials are the parts of the equation. Are what? Are the parts of the equation which are generally separated by plus or uh, minus sign okay so each part of the polynomial is a equation in an equation is a term so each part in a polynomial in an equation is what is a term so now let's see the example let's suppose we have a polynomial like 2x square plus 5x plus 4 okay and we know that terms is what terms of a polynomial are the parts of the equation which are separated by positive which are separated by plus and minus so here is if you observe this this is a term this is a term and this is a term so we can say that in this there are three terms there are three terms so what are these so these are 2x square 5x and 4 so these three are the terms of this equation i hope my dear friends you understand these things okay so these are separated by this positive sign this plus sign okay i hope you understand the concept of the terms what is concept what is terms of a polynomial i hope my dear friends you understand these things so now if we take the example like we have 3x square y plus 4x y plus 3 y square x okay so now my dear friends so how many terms in there so again there are there are three terms there are three terms so my dear friends terms are not depends on the degree okay so this is first term this is second term and this is third term first term second term and third term Okay, I hope you get this point. So, first term is 3x square y. Second is 4xy. And the third is 3y square x. Okay, I hope you get this point, my dear friends. So, now, my dear friends, let's see the types of polynomials. What is? Yes, types of polynomials. So, what are the types of polynomials? So, my dear friends, polynomials are of three different types. Are of three different types. Okay. And are classified based on the number of terms. Are classified on the base of on the number of terms. Okay. So what are these? So my dear friends, first is monomial. First is monomial. Okay. And the second is binomial. Binomial. And third one is trinomial. Third one is what? Trinomial. So my dear friends, 
these polynomials can be combined using addition subtraction multiplication and division but is never division by a variable okay okay so now my dear friends first of all let's see the example of non polynomials non polynomial means let's suppose we have 1 upon x plus 2 Okay, this is what this is the example of non-polynomials. Non-polynomials. So we can say that this is not a polynomial. Here is the variable. Here is the constant, and these separated by the arithmetic operation. But we cannot say that this is a polynomial. Okay, and x raised to power minus one, which is equals to one upon x. So this is also non. polynomial this is also what non polynomial so my dear friends uh, again we can say that polynomial is never division by a variable okay i hope my dear friends you understand these things yes now let's come on the topic yes so what is monomial so my dear friends a monomial is an expression a monomial is an expression which contain only one terms it contains it contains only one term only one terms okay for an expression to be a monomial the single term should be a non zero term the single term should be a non zero term For example, like five x six a square minus three x y. So these are what these are the examples of monomial because in this there are just only one terms. There are just only one terms. Yes. Yeah, so now, my dear friends, let's see what is binomial. So, my dear friends. a binomial is a polynomial a binomial is a polynomial expression which contains exactly two terms which contains exactly two terms so it contains exactly two terms okay for example If you see the example, let's suppose minus five x plus three, okay, and six uh, a square plus seventeen x, okay, and uh, x y square plus x y. So these are the example of what? These are the example of binomial. Okay, now if we talk about the degree in this case. so what is the maximum degree so my dear friends here is in this term here is y having the power 2 and x having the power 1 so 1 plus 2 which is 3 so highest exponent is what 3 so we can say that the degree of this polynomial is what is 3 okay so my dear friends this is the concept of degree and with binomial okay now Let's come on the next topic, which is trinomial. Now, what is trinomial, my dear friends? So, a trinomial is an expression which is composed of exactly three terms, which is composed of exactly three terms. So, my dear friends, it is composed of exactly by Three terms. Okay, I hope you get this point. So now, if you see the example, which is like minus eight a square plus twice of x plus seven. Okay, and four uh, x square plus nine x plus seven. So these are the example of what trinomial. Okay, I hope you get this point. 
so my dear friends if a expression having more than three terms if an expression having more than three terms then we can say that that expression is what polynomials that expression is what polynomials i hope my dear friends you understand these things yeah so there are three types there are mainly three types of polynomials what are these yeah so these are monomial binomial and trinomials okay i hope you understand the concept of these polynomials so my dear friends if we summarize it types of polynomial that we know this is mon mon monomial and in mo monomial there is just one term okay what are these let's suppose x 3y 29 x upon 2 okay so this is what this is monomial okay in binomial there are only two terms okay for example x square plus x x cube minus 2x and y plus 2 okay in trinomial there is three terms what is there is three terms okay L uh, like uh, x square plus 2x plus 20 okay in this there are three terms first second and th third okay i hope you understand these things okay my dear friends i hope you understand these things so now my dear friends in this lecture we have covered what is polynomials okay what is terms what is coefficient what is constant terms okay and degrees and how we can notate how we can uh, represent the polynomial like p of x okay so my dear friends we represent uh, we learned the lot of things in this lecture okay so which is very useful related to the in the upper so uh, these things are very important because these all these things are related to the next lectures to the upcoming lectures okay so my dear friends i hope you understand these things i hope you understand the types of polynomials okay and degrees okay so now my dear friends it's time for it's time to leave and this is enough for today and we will meet in the next lecture with the next amazing topic okay so thank you very much guys for listening me and take care and goodbye